Donna Hopkins Pro Football Plus out here at Commander's Headquarters as they get ready for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers just a few days away before the season opener. And today I focus on the defensive side of the ball because they've got a tall task ahead of them facing that high power offense of the Bucs. Uh, you look at the weapons as far as Michael Evans, uh, they got the tight end, the running back, other receiver, Godwin. Uh, the list goes on and on. So uh, they uh, have to be on their P's and Q's this week as they face this high power Bucks offense. And Todd Bowes talked a little bit about uh, Baker Mayfield and what he expects out of the quarterback this year and his outlook for him. But this uh, Washington secondary, I mean, it's an area that all uh, preseason and, and training camp that has been a big question mark as far as can they rise to the occasion and so I uh, got a chance to talk to some of the safeties and cornerbacks and this is what they had to say because they feel that they are ready to rock and roll and the only people that they have to worry about is what they do on the field this is what they had to say mm -hmm. oh yeah they got a whole lot of talent so we really just got to limit them you know we can't be having them explosive plays man really just limit them and go out there and ball what, 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 what is even more of the key when you look at y'all's backfield, uh, what you have to do to just slow them down a little bit? Uh, we got to play sound defense, you know, go out there, pay attention to our keys, pay attention to the coverage we're in, just execute every, every play. A lot of new pieces for you all, um, being on the same page. Talk about what you see from you all in that backfield. Uh, I see a lot of a lot of talent, you know. I see a lot of experience, and I see a lot of a lot of camaraderie, you know. A lot of guys going out there, we're playing together and playing fast. You told me earlier on down there at the I guess the open rally or something like that that we better watch out. Uh, it's something special. Could you talk a little bit more about that? Uh, I'll just say uh, I can't wait to for, let it fly on Sunday, man. You know, go out there, play ball, and, and let everybody see what we're about. Do you think this uh, secondary is, you know, through the training camps, preseason and everything, are clicking at the, at the right moment or you're still developing? Oh, no, we're definitely clicking at the right moment. I can't say we start developing. You know, we, we've had a lot of uh, preseason ahead of us. You know, we've had a lot of camp, OTAs, everything, a lot of experience going in. So, fight it, ready to let it go fly. Manuel, uh, first game of the season coming up. Give me your feelings. You were here last year to go through this whole new regime this year. What is your feeling heading into the first game of the season? Oh, you know, confident and really excited just to get the season going. You know, I feel like I got a lot to prove to myself and uh, just ready to get at, at it. Are you your uh, hardest critic uh, versus anybody else? Of course, I probably would say my mom is, but of course I am on myself. And uh, I hold myself to a high standard so I know I can be great and that's what I'm going to do. Talk about the secondary heading into this uh, first part of the season. How do you see the secondary area at this stage heading in? Are, are you all gelling together? Uh, what's, the, what's the overall view? Oh yeah, we're, we're all in this together. You know, we know what comes with it and uh, we're just ready to take on the challenge for the year and be with each other and have each other back, honestly. Talk about a challenge, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, when you look at those offensive weapons from the receivers, the, the uh, tight ends and everything. What do you see in there, and, and how do you all, uh, you know, adjust to what you have to do uh, to, you know, slow them down? Oh, you know, Tampa got a great, great room full of guys that play hard and, you know, try to be the best they can be. Uh, but we got to go out there and do our job and uh, stay fundamentally sound and just honestly just make plays. What is Witt, uh, Coach Witt saying about what you all have to do on that defensive end? We talked to him earlier, and he was talking about the details and everything, but what has been the message that he has delivered for, to you all uh, to get ready for Tampa Bay? Uh, just play fast as physical. Don't go out there try to make do superhero, su superhero things and just make the plays that come to us, and that's what he preached to us as a defense all day. How excited are you about this season starting? Oh, I'm very excited. You know, it's been a, a great offseason. You know, I worked hard, get my body where I wanted to be, and just looking forward and ready to go. Mike, could you talk about um, opening game, regular season game this week? What's your feelings, uh, you know, being your first NFL game? I'm super excited. You know, it's the my very first NFL career game. I'm just excited to go out there with these guys. We've been working hard going at it all offseason, so it's our time to go out there and, you know, send a message to the league about what type of team we're going to be, what type of, you know, group of guys that's going to go out there every Sunday and compete.
Talk about the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, who you're going to face up. What's the key to walking away with the W defensively this as a team overall, but what do you have to do defensively? Defensively, we just have to stay disciplined. Um, you know, they do a few different things that, you know, that's going to challenge what we do. Um, so we just have to stay disciplined, make sure our eyes are in the right spots, communicate at a very high level. Everybody, all hats to the ball when the, you know, when the ball is snapped. Um, and just play, you know, good team defense. What are your nerves right now facing, being in your first NFL game? Um, no nerves. You know, I feel like my preparation is going to allow me to go out there and play the best I can. So there's really nothing to be nervous about. Just, you know, it's the same game I've been playing since a little kid. So just go out there and make sure I'm prepared, make sure I study the way I need to study going into this game. Practice hard, practice with good effort because where I practice how I'm going to play. Um, trust the coach and trust the details that they're giving us and just go out there and execute. First regular season game as a rookie. Talk to me about just opening up against Tampa Bay and just what you're feeling with your first NFL's uh, game. You know, it feels good. Um, I'm just trying to treat it like a normal practice, like a preseason game. Just keep doing what I've been doing so I can have similar results to what I've been producing. So, But what is the feeling like? I mean, this is a, a dream come true NFL game. What's the emotions as you head into your first game? Um, I'm just really excited. You know, I've been wanting to do this my whole life. So, I mean, I finally get to do it. And I don't know. The, my nerves probably going to be jumping when it, when it comes time. So, how much fun is this? And, and just talk about how ready this team is. Uh, this is when it counts uh, the most right now. I mean, I feel like we're ready. I, I haven't really seen anything else like in the NFL level. I feel like we've been more prepared than other teams we played against. But I don't know. We're just going to have to see. One. Well, the backfield talked about what they have to do, the little details as far as slowing down that Bucks uh, offense. And they know that uh, it's a lot on their shoulders, um, and they've got to come ready. And I also talked to Coach Witt about the little things and the things that they've got to do, uh, being that this is some of the guys first time out. Uh, what are some key things or the message that he uh, delivered of what they have to do to come away with this W? Um, Coach, uh, as you talked about, you know, what you all have to do and looking at that offense of the Bucks, what are the things that you're saying that we've got to be able from the start to be able to do this right off? You know, what we have to, the first thing, and, and I know it's going to sound simplistic, but the speed, the speed and physicality has to show up, okay? The, the ability to produce the ball has to show up. Um, the, the, the ability to when when Baker gets to his his drop that he has to get to a second and third progression and now the defensive line can come to life from that standpoint um, we have to be able to do those things um, and, and, and our, the strength of our, our, our defense are the interior guys so uh, we have to win those 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 matchups when we have the opportunity to get singled up inside as well and what is the message to some of the uh, the players? You know, as they get ready, some of the younger players first time out, nerves will be out there mm -hmm. just to keep them kind of like calm so that they can perform at their top level. Well, what we try to do in practice every day is, is have a really intense environment. And so um, when you live that way, all right, uh, when you step into the stadium, it's easy. It's, and, well, I'm not gonna, it's never easy, but you don't feel the stress of it because we live that way. Like the walkthrough we just had, you know, they, they sort of cruised into it. And I stopped and I said, hey, guys, this is not what we're doing. All right, we're not going to come off a great day yesterday and come out here and not communicate, not be disciplined, not, not do the things the way that we know it takes to win. All right. You got to do it every day. You can't pick and choose when you're doing it. You can't have success one day and then feel like that success from that day is going to give it to me the next day. It doesn't work that way in this league. So we have to make sure that we prepare the right way in an intense environment so when we get into that game um, on Sunday that we're ready to just play and play free. All right? Don't think. Don't be scared. Play free. All right? And then whatever happens, happens. All right? As long as we go out there and play hard and, and, and stick to our technique and play discipline, the good things are going to happen. If we're out there thinking, guessing, and doing the other, other things that are outside of the scheme, you know, it'll be a long day for any team. Exciting time as the season opens, but it's also a time where we're still looking at uh, this commander's team and just what their outlook is going to be. It's only going to be game one, but we still want to see what team comes out of the blocks. Donna Hopkins out here at commander's headquarters as we get ready for the season opener, and I'm excited also.